So now we're ready to stick the papers on to this page and also it's opposite on the opposite the inside back cover. So I've gone for just one eight by eight sheet and I've cut my two pieces out of the same sheet of paper so that they fit and the script runs across that join or gap. Um, but you could have, co I can't say it, corresponding, coordinating, oops, turn this around, coordinating papers. So however you've cut them, don't forget on the one and three eight strip to shape your corners if you shaped your corners on that one and a half inch flap. And then just go round and ink your edges. Whoops. Really quick with the pen. And then stick your papers down. So a little bit of glue or a little bit of tape. Whoops. Little squiggle down the middle, but not too much. Just enough to stop it squidging, and then let's move all of the papers out of the way. And so this one is going to go onto that front flap. Now, if you can't see that flap very well. Just take a piece of card, let me grab one. White's a good colour, or a piece of copy paper. And just pop it under where you want to stick, and then you'll be able to see those black borders. Line your paper up and Stick it in place. Like that. And then do the same with the large paper. I love this script side. Just smooth it out. And then stick it on there. And then I'm just going to smooth that down with the bone folder to make sure that all of the edges are really nicely stuck down. So that's all ready for our pop-up to go on there and now we can stick these end pieces on. So I'm just going to pop the paper under there and then I can see where I'm sticking and I'm going to start with the middle piece and slide that under the pocket opening. So again just inking the edges. It was a real shame to cut this border paper up as well, but I have kept one to add some border detail. And then I'm just going to slide it under the pocket opening first and then bring it back and line it up where I want it to be stuck down. Like that. Make sure it's nicely stuck. And then I'm going to finish off with the yellows on the inside. So I've gone with the same paper for that centre section and then the two side flaps that you could add papers that coordinate. Let's just whiz around these edges. And then a little bit of 
glue. My glue is sitting upside down so that it's ready and it's all oozing out of the cap. Now don't forget to trim your paper to the 8 and 7 eighths length, like I just did. And then stick it in place. I love that yellow and I like how it coordinates with this side of the page. It's a proper egg yellow for the chookies. And then center it up. And Down. Now, if you find you haven't got much of a black border showing at the top, like me, you can always add a fake one just with your black pen. over the top. Perfecto mundo! <laughs> okay, one more piece to add and that's on that flap here. So let's just check that I've cut it to the right size. No. So let's just cut Another little bit off, repunch the corner and inky the edges. <gasps> chickens here as well, I could go with the chickens. I'm going the wrong way then. No, I'm going to go black. So I'm just ink the edges. second skin on your finger it's very weird I know some of you don't like touching the glue and let's just flatten that down and that's it that is the base of the page done so Finish yours this side and then flip over and finish yours that side. Um, and then we can do the ta da! So now we want to make this pop up section. How cute is that? In our album. There are two of them and they go on the last and the first, the first page. Yeah, first page and the last page. And then you can add in your little pictures or ephemera as you want. So, if you've cut your pieces, you'll have your ephemera card or your 3 by 4 piece to go on the front. Your two 3 by 2 and 3 quarter pieces. And then your... Um, You want two of the magnetic buttons, or you can add a ribbon closure if you wanted to, to tie it together if you're not using magnets. And then your three pieces of black card and three paper 
button tops if you're using the magnetic closures. So let's move these out of the way. I've rounded all the corners of my paper pieces and when I've put this section together I'll round all the corners of that as well. So it looks really complicated but it is quite easy when you can follow along. So have your paper trimmer in front of you and you want to take the first piece which is the three and one eighth by eight and a quarter piece and I like to use my paper trimmer because it's got a nice edge that I can butt this card up against and you're just going to fold your short edges together and crease and then it's a really good idea to have a bone folder handy so that you can crease as you go and I'm going to crease that on both sides. So flip it over and crease. And that is our cover piece that the ephemera card or the picture is going to sit on. And then you want to take your next size piece, leave the small one till last, and this is two and three quarters by seven and three eighths. And again, using your paper trimmer, fold it in half, crease both sides, and then put the fold up against your ridge on the paper trimmer and fold one short edge over onto it and then flip over and do the same with the other short edge. And then open that out and crease those folds both sides. You might want to do that two or three times. This is the bit that's going to pop out and fold up in the middle of the section. So that's a nice crease. This one, if you just fold it and don't use your bone folder, it's not so sharp. It just helps when the whole thing folds up and closes if you crease these folds really well. So that will fold up really nicely. I'm just going to do the middle one again. <laughs> so pop that to one side when you've done it and take the last piece. Now the last piece is a bit more complicated. So you want to have the long edge against your paper trimmer and you want to score at one and a quarter inches in from both short edges. So turn it around one and a quarter. And then where those fold lines start and finish, you want to pop them onto your blade line in your trimmer and score diagonally from the corner of one to the opposite corner of the other. So you're only scoring to the tips of the score line, not the whole piece, just this section in the middle. And you do that both ways to make a cross in the centre section of your piece. And then put your long edge against the ridge in your paper trimmer and fold the short edges together and crease, uh, hold the long edges together, sorry, and crease. And then score that, flip it over, score on the other side, crease on the other side, and then do the same with every score line. Fold it and crease it both ways. And you can do that a couple of times. 
and then you'll get a nice folded section when this goes into the pop-up pop -up card. Fold over. So when you've done your end folds, then do the diagonals. So fold and crease, flip it over, fold and crease. And then do the other one. that a couple of times. And then you want to have that centre fold and you want to just pull those sides in over onto themselves so that you get that solid triangle on the top and legs. So I've got the crease down the middle and with the crease folding towards me, I'm just bending it and pulling those sides in so that you've got that gap in the middle. Flatten it down and then crease again to crease that triangle. And on the other side as well. And that is your pop-up mechanism ready to prep. So now we've got all our pieces prepped um, you just want to just put double-sided tape on that flat triangle so have it like that and it's the flat section of the triangle on both sides and then take your large flat piece and find, let's fold it the right way, this way on the inside. Find the centre and just put a pencil mark right up against that crease line. Then take your folding mechanism, remove the backing strips on one side from the tape and line that point up. It might help you just to lift the top section up. So you're lining the point up with the fold and then centering the piece between the side edges. And when you're happy with where it's sitting, stick it down. And then take the backing strips off the top, pieces of tape and bring that top section over and press down really firmly. And then your mechanism is in place and it should sit flat on your table when you fold it out. And then bring your last piece of card in. I've got a little bit of tape, it won't go away. And you want to fold it in half and line it up vertically so that the fold line is in line with the point on your crisscross of your mechanism. So line that up so that it sits centrally over the top and bottom edges of your mechanism piece. And then hold it in place. I'm going to do the left side first. Flatten it down and lift up the end section. Let's just make sure that all of this is sitting straight. Just going to use the lines on my craft mat. So you line this piece up, lift the end section up, and with a pencil, draw a pencil line from the, the crease on the mechanism section downwards. So you get a section there. And then do the same on the other side, fold the end section up and draw a pencil line down to the fold line on the top 
section of the mechanism. And then you can take your folding section off, put a couple of strips of tape on those two areas that we've just marked. Like that. And over here. And then I'm going to start on the left. Remove the backing tape, bring your folded piece back in. I'm just going to refold mine. So line it up again, center it over the center point of the mechanism. Pop your fingers underneath it out and stick it in place and then take the tape off the backing strips off the tape this side <laughs> or not so. and then let that little flap fold out and press it down onto the tape and then lift the center up and it might help you to start this going to put your fingers under the side to get your mechanism to fold and as it folds it twists and closes and then when you open it it opens up ta-da as my sister calls it. she said please add a ta-da to this album and so we've got one in um, and then you're ready to stick your paper pieces in place. So I've got it's just I've cut mine slightly too long, so let's just trim it and just chomp the edges again and ink my cut edge. So just with a little bit of glue, you can add your pieces to the top and bottom sections and so I've used that chicken paper again and I just oh, didn't want to cover these up but I wanted the grey side so and that piece just fits nicely on that section let's turn it around so I can see where I'm sticking So it sits just above that mechanism and then stick the other one in place. So once you've assembled it, it's really quick to decorate. Let's turn it around so I can see where it's going. Let's stick it in place. And then on the back, I did put double-sided tape on the side that's going to get stuck onto the page. So if you want to do that, I put it around three sides or two sides in the bottom so that you can create a pocket if you want to behind this. So I'm going to have it facing the right way. So I know this is now the front. So I'm going to stick my lovely ephemera card on the front here. the glue out, center it, and stick it into place, and then I'm just going to open that out and just press it with the bone folder, which makes it nice and smooth. And then while it's open, I'm going to stick 
these little pieces in place. Now I think two of them I cut so that they went across the page, or maybe three of them actually. No, two of them, three of them. So they're going to go like that. So let's just stick these in place. Love this paper. Oh, got a delivery back in a minute. And we're back. So let's just stick the last two pieces in place. A little bit of glue. Smooth it out. And the last one. still closes up you might need to just help it to start with until it just gets used to folding Ta -da! <laughs> and then flip over if you haven't put your double-sided tape on the back of this section then pop it on take your backing strips off let's close that up bring your album in Move all the bits out of the way. Open it to our page one. And I'm going to put it centrally on the page towards the bottom because I've added a little paper clip up there with a sticker underneath it. And then we're going to add our magnetic closures, just like we did for here. So I've made my little stacks. So I'm going to stick the bottom one in place first, half on, half off this bottom edge, and stick my paper circle on the top. Like that. And then close it down and just let the piece, the second circle, attach to the first so you know which side needs to be stuck. And then put some glue on it. So I'm just pressing half oops <laughs> just trying to line them up line them up don't let it stick to the bottom one and then add your paper circle to the underneath and your paper circle to the top Press that one into place. Make sure there's no glue on there. And then the top one. And then you might just want to leave it open while the glue dries, just to make sure that the two layers don't stick to each other. like that 
and if you wanted to add a tag behind there then you've got a couple of inches width to play with to create something to pop behind. I think the little ATC tags will fit. So if you're using those, want to use those, then you could add one behind there as well. And that's it. So then you do that again and add one to the back page. Ta-da! <laughs> I love it. And you can see how that's settled down. That's been in there for a while and it's quite happy to open and close. I've added a little paper clip on the side there as well, just for some detail.